Hi, let's take a quick look into the control panel of the One Stop Checkout extension. The control panel is very extensive and you can change all your options here. Once you're logged into the backend of Magento, you can find a link to One Stop Checkout under the Sales category on the left sidebar. The various settings are neatly divided into sections, so you can easily find what you're looking for. Let's start with the general section. In this section you can tune some overall settings like the title on your checkout page, the default country, you can enable or disable fields for gift messages, different shipping address, tax and more. This is also where you add your one-stop checkout serial and you can enable or disable the one-stop checkout extension. Another important feature here is that you can always see the version of one-stop checkout currently running in your store. Moving on to the exclude include field section. Here you can turn on or off various fields for address, newsletter, discount code, etc. In the registration section you can select the registration mode for your page. Here you can allow both guest customers and logged in customers to purchase in your store. More important, once the checkout can also automatically register a new guest customer and generate a password for them. The display order of fields section enables you to change the order the customer data fields are displayed in the checkout. If you want to swap around the first name and last name, just swap the numbers. One step checkout will start with the lowest number. In the next section you can enable a how did you hear about us field and you can add a list of options for the customer to select from. The Ajax update and shipping payment method section is where you can select what will trigger an update to shipping or payment methods available for the customer based on the geographical location. For example, if you have different payment methods for different countries, you will need to select the country here. Likewise, if you have a shipping provider that will calculate the shipping based on the country and the postcode, these two fields must be selected. In the next section you can enable a function to redirect your customers straight to the checkout page whenever they add an item to the cart. This can be useful if you are running a one product store. The extra product section is where you can add extra simple products to your checkout page, which a customer can add to their order with just one click. Here you can add, for example, gift wrapping free of charge or at a cost, you can add free promotional stuff from your store, you can add rush delivery fees and more. The next section is for GYP. By selecting a method here, you can have one-step checkout automatically populate some of the address fields. Note that this will override any of the default settings you have set in the first section of the control panel. In the Terms and Conditions section, you can select one-step checkout to use the Magento's default terms and conditions, and you can display them on the checkout page. Moving on to the next section, Order Preview Window. For some countries, like the Netherlands and Germany, merchants are required by law to show a final order preview before the order is placed. In this section you can configure what data will be displayed on the preview by using different variables. The next section is for auto-completion of the customer's address by using Google Places. When the customer starts typing in a street address, a drop-down will show and the customer can select their correct address. When an address is selected, all the data like the postcode, city, state and country are automatically filled in. Let's take a quick look on this feature from the front end. Here we have already filled in some data for the customer, and when you're starting to fill in the street address, you can see a drop-down where you can select the correct address, and the rest will be filled in automatically. The Advanced Google Analytics section is where you can add some extensive behavioral tracking in your store. By enabling this feature, you can have one-step checkout to trigger a call to Google Analytics whenever any form element is changed on the checkout. While someone perhaps will say, not for you, get hold of some experts in Google Analytics and leverage on this feature. In the Delivery Date and Delivery Note Setup section, you can enable one-step checkout's Delivery Date Picker. If you can deliver items on specific dates and or times of day, you can customize your requirements here. This gives the customer an option to select when they will receive their order, if they are on holiday or if they are working during daytime, etc. You can also enable a Delivery Note field, enabling the customer to give more instructions for their delivery. We hope you have enjoyed this quick introduction to the One Step Checkout control panel. If you want to learn more, check the other videos or check our webpage.